Hey everybody, it's Jamie here. Welcome to Travel Blog Jamie. Now, before you go any further, please do give this a cheeky little like, subscribe, and turn on notifications for your weekly travel vlogs. Okay, if you've never been on a cruise before, there are some tips and hacks from old timers just like myself that you might find useful. So come with us and let's take a look at some of our top tips. If you have a top tip yourself, please do leave it in the comments below. Sunbed clips. It can get very windy up on deck, so don't forget to pack your sunbed clips, which are very handy for keeping your towel in place in windy conditions. But please don't be one of those people. You know exactly the kind of people I'm talking about, don't you? Speciality dining. These options are always popular and quite often oversubscribed. Most cruise lines allow the option of booking specialty restaurants several weeks ahead of your departure, so get in there early to avoid disappointment. It is always surprising how many people on board bemoan the lack of availability, so be organised. Crease release spray. We used to take a handy travel sized iron with us, but these are no longer permitted on most cruise lines. Yes, there may be a laundrette on board, but it could be a bit of a lottery and a waiting game for the iron, especially if you leave it until formal night. Don't do that. And whilst you still might want to make a visit to Laundra to iron your finest clothes, we find a bottle of crease release perfectly sufficient to revive any shirts, tops, trousers, etc. Do make sure you are spraying your clothes as they are placed on the bed, as they will make the floor very, very slippery, and no one likes a slippery hazard. Magnets. On all of the cruise ships we've been on so far, the cabin walls have been magnetic. This does provide a handy means of pinning things to the wall, not me. Uh, for example, excursion tickets, the ship's daily schedule, or any other bits and pieces of paper that you might want to keep handy. I'm yet to try them myself, but you can also buy small magnetic hooks that attach to the walls. Adapters. Cruise ship cabins are not always known for their plentiful power outlets, but most ships do not permit extensions or adapters. On newer ships, USB ports should be available. If you're really in a tight squeeze power-wise, most modern TVs will have a USB socket at the back somewhere. What we use is a single plug adapter, which has a few USB ports, which is handy for charging devices. Air freshener. Now, this is a more of a personal preference, but even on new cruise ships, sometimes the bathroom in the cabin has a peculiar scent or a faint smell of drinks. We usually pack one of these small light and handy air fresheners that will keep your cabin bathroom smelling beautiful throughout. Whilst we have never really found the cabin to have any particular scent, we do like to pack reed diffusers or similar to give the cabin a bit of extra freshness. And the bonus is if you use the same fragrance at a later date at home, it will instantly remind you of your holiday. Thank you, Jesus. Hair dryers. If you have seen any of my cabin tours and reviews previously, you will know I always give the hair dryer a quick blast. Who doesn't love doing that? However, as my tresses tend to dry naturally without needing a hair dryer, and given the amount of times I'm asked about the quality of the hair dryer on board, you may wish to consider bringing your own. Cruise lines do also permit hair straighteners on board. I might try those out the next time. Luggage tags. With most cruise lines, you are now required to print your luggage tags at home and forcing them to your suitcases, usually by way of staples or sellotape. Whilst most of the time that should be entirely sufficient, we have recently obtained some luggage tags, which allow you to simply print off your luggage labels and insert them into the plastic holder. No messing around with staples or sellotape. Thank you, Jesus. Luggage drop off at the cruise terminal. If your boarding time is later than you would hope and you do not want to carry your luggage around with you all day whilst you wait to go to the terminal and check in, you may be able to drop this earlier in the day. It not only leaves you free of luggage whilst you pass the time elsewhere, but hopefully also means by the time you do board, your luggage will be ready for you at your cabin. Hangers. No wire hangers. It is quite likely that you may need some extra hangers in your cabin wardrobe space. In my experience, these are usually available from the cabin steward upon request. 
On your last evening when you have packed everything away, the hangers may have a tendency to rattle and make a noise during the night. A tip seen over the years is to place a towel over these to help stop the rattling during the night. God knows we don't want any rattling during the night, do we folks? Drinks in the cabin. There are a few cruise lines who still permit alcohol being brought on board. So don't forget, on most cruise lines, your cabin steward can arrange to bring you ice each day. Or if you're not a drinker or not permitted to take alcohol on board, these concentrated squash drinks might come in handy. And there you have some of my top tips to make your cruise just that little bit more special and stress-free. But of course, we all have our own favorite must-dos when we travel. So what about you? What are your cruise tips and hacks? I would love to hear from you. So do drop those comments below and share that love. For now, thanks for watching, you beautiful humans. And don't forget to follow Travel Blog Jamie on Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube.